Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Reviews with the Beer Sarge. Got an early, got some light today. Uh, today we're going to crack into this one. Uh, Marta, Marta Breweries, Head in the Clouds. Uh, Marta 2005, Kaurau. Uh, the Vitakangas family, a little bit of a family connection there. Brother-in-law's uh, Vitakangas, so I've got to be nice. You know how we roll here, not going to be nice going to be truthful so um, let's have a read of the blurb on the side Aotearoa Breweries is a family run business based in the sunny eastern Bay of Plenty with a love for great beer in 2005 Tammy brought Marta beer to life along with her mum dad and uncle Esco with a pride and passion they continue to create and brew an innovative range of award-winning flavors and beers so the one we've got here is uh, Marta head in the clouds Tropical Coconut Hazy IPA. So Hazy IPA, I sort of looked at it and went, yep, that sounds cool. Tropical Coconut, I was like, dunno, but we'll give it a we'll give it a nudge. So the side of it says, uh, if you like pina coladas and you're a big fan of haze, take a head in the clouds home. Dream of long summer days. This yummy hazy IPA is oozing with tropical pineapple hops and infused with toasted coconut. Uh, lactose in there as well so lactose you generally um, when you put lactose in a beer it sort of it smooths it out it's like it, it yeah just I don't know what it does to it technically but um, I've used lactose when I was home brewing in um, like cream ales and that sort of thing in Irish red ales to just to smooth them out I don't know what it does uh, Tammy Vitakangas is the head brewer and uh, yeah, it says here Wakatani, but I heard it was Carrow, so who bloody knows? 5.7 in a 500. This was, I think, um, if I remember rightly, about 7.99 or something like that at, at New World. New World have got a huge range of um, beers in there nowadays, so let's have a look at this one. So being a hazy, it's going to come out hazy. Fancy that using this three sisters glass because it just is the best thing to drink out of I reckon and you get a little bit left in there all right I can smell straight away you can smell it's like a it does smell pineapple you can smell that it smells like um, oh yeah remember the old pine nectar bloody ice blocks when you were a kid or when I was a kid oh yeah that does smell bloody good shit yeah there's some yeah, definitely pineapple-y sweet. Mango. Real tropical fruit sort of flavor is coming off there. Real tropical fruit flavor is coming off there. get that all into the glass and let's uh, let's have a look at it so yeah so she's a hazy obviously um, nice color nice color to it sort of a sort of honey sort of color I suppose I suppose we get clover honey that looks like that anyway let's, let's get a taste into it Initially it's quite bitter and um, sort of a tartness on the tongue, quite, quite tart. But the flavour is definitely there. It's very sharp, it's a very sharp beer. And that flavour... So that's um what do they say it is it's a 5.7 toasted coconut I can't 
say that initially I can taste that toasted coconut. Um, but it's there in the, like in the, um, sort of in the mouth afterwards. It's, um, it's, it's bloody nice. Oh there, yep, there's the coconut there. Amazing how your taste buds kind of wake up as they come th come to life. Shut up, cat. Yeah, that's really good. All right. Well, to be honest, when I saw tropical coconut, I was like, oh, God, I don't know, because I've tried some other um, breweries that have put different sort of shit in their beers and think, God, oh, just what are you doing just don't but this this works actually tastes really good um, so yep head in the clouds Mara it's a goodie give it a crack all right like and subscribe and do all that sort of thing catch you later